Come here, darling. Don't look there. What's that, Papa? Nothing. Who's it's there? All right. You see the face? Just don't look. As if it looks like eighth box. <laughs> yes, it's eight. Simetsky, Yuri. Here is dangerous. Are you trying to infect me or what? Huh? Hey! So? What do I do now? What do I do, doctor? Well, you can't go into the board. As well as go through the lab. So, I don't have to remind you about the gloves and the mask. Yes, I know that. Is the epidemic slowing down? Yes and no. It looks like it, but let's it is an Ebola virus. You can't go in there. It's a high danger zone. It's, it's basically non virulent now. Without the original strain. Doctor, you know I'm no medic. Please explain. Uh, I'm sorry, Carl. Here are the facts. In the first two days, the mortality rate was around 95%. In the third, it dropped to about 25%. Today, we only have two new infected, and they have a light infection, prospects of recovery looking promising. Now, as you understand, Moscow never was a natural habitat for this virus, and in its wild form, it remains dangerous much longer. So, what does all this mean? It is not a regular virus. It's a weapons-grade strain, engineered to achieve maximum lethality within a short time, and then, Turn harmless. Damnation. Where did it come from? I have heard of a new generation of bioweapons based on this virus being developed before the war. But where did it surface from now, after all these years? Bioweapons? Just in case, I have some radio questions. What the world is going on? Attention, refugees! Should you notice any symptoms manifest in yourself you. or others, report this immediately to the nearest medic or doc. Any attempt to conceal such symptoms will be considered hostile action and punished with lethal force. Can't stay here. Artyom, I'm here. I'm happy to know that you and Anna are all right. 
Can't afford to waste time being sick now. The dark one we're looking for could really be the last one. We can't lose him. Let's go. I have to go, but I have to go back for her insulin. She'll die without it. Your boys, I'm here. I can't let you go. How can we buy anything when all the we have is back sure there? The refugees sure were lucky. The so much. Please. Corbett's men clearly didn't expect to be met with machine gun fire. So, all this stuff still there? Well, of course. Hansa could what not protect thinking? the station without help. I was but they thinking you had a brain to take something with. And the hospital. Perhaps that could help them. Sorry, that's forbidden without a permit. That's our man. Leave this one through. He got a permit. I think you should stock up on filters and ammo, Artyom. We probably won't have some. Come here, Ranger! Soon. I got the crash weapons! Well, we sure got lucky the Rangers from here. Why did they fight anyway? Come on, take a look! I bet you don't have these in Sparta! That's what puzzles me! Where's the profit? Come here, Ranger! Let's have it! Come on, don't be shy! I'll even give you a discount! One grenade can take multiple targets out! Very profitable! The incendiaries are a great competitive advantage. The very beginning? What? Fighting the Reds? Nah. If there's an epidemic... Mines are great for blocking off competition. Hey, some throwing knives. Chief! Spartans to handle this situation. These are sea legs. Stop. Very economical. They came because of the epidemic. But we already set up the quarantine and the Reds cleared out the source. So they helped us out so that the Reds... The most economical ones. You can take that to the and bank. what's the profit police is making here? Based pop shot is made in us, you can take that them. to the bank. The states had been arranged long ago. Holy shit. By these, nobody will give you a better price. Price. Great rounds, very powerful. They also turn out to be quite economical. If there's a war or shit like that. Ah, I get it now. I you can buy without a second thought. You won't find cheap. From the results. Just buy these. Yes, They'll prove a great investment. Sure, but we're not doing commerce to make a loss either. Come again. Grenades at a great price. Artyom, take note of the funds Hanser expends on this quarantine. And they are generally quite reserved with their money. Perhaps they are aiming for an Attention additional trump card to use in negotiations and polls. Good luck in the tunnels, Ranger! In some other time and place, what happened could be life-changing. But there is no time but present, and no place but the metro for us. And we must do everything we can to save it. I have to hurry and catch up with the Dark One. Anna has to tell her father of what Korbut and Moskvin are doing. Anything else is a luxury we can't afford right now. Soon, the leaders of Hansa, Redline, and Reich will meet in Polis, hoping to reach a peaceful settlement on D6. But I know the nature of man all too well, Artyom. War is as certain as the fall of night, unless a miracle happens. Well, we won't catch the train with the Dark One moving along the tunnel. But there is another way. All right. Are you going to Polis? No. Open the interline tunnel for me. But the interline is a dead end. And very dangerous. A dead end? No way. That's our road to Polis. Open up.
Let's go, Artyom. Careful with the generators! As you see, it's no dead end. That's just what the Hansa authorities claim to discourage people from entering these passages. An unprepared man could easily lose his way here, or even become lost within himself. But as long as you're with me, there is no danger. Most people believe Metro to be just tunnels and stations. A lifeless and soulless conglomerate created by human hands alone. There's a special place in the metro. The few people who come upon it never return. I call it the River of Fate because it can change your destiny, wash away the silt of the past, and offer the chance for a different future. If a man enters this river in dire need of such a chance, wishing desperately to earn it, then he might be carried to the place and time where that chance is granted. Remember, we must find the Dark One. It is the only thing we are to ask of the river. The Metro is a living, breathing thing, with a heartbeat, a soul, and a mind. Careful here. It's an abandoned place, 